You like it too, right? Yeah. Hi foodies and welcome back to another episode here with me on Lynn's Caribbean Kitchen. In today's episode, I'll be sharing with you how I do a sweet bread. Sweet bread is a heavy bread made with fruits and coconuts. So if you want to see how I did this recipe, keep viewing. If you're here viewing and you haven't yet liked and subscribed, go ahead and hit that subscribe button, ring that notification bell to see when I upload more videos. When we talk about sweet bread, a good sweet bread, we talk about grating a coconut. So you don't want to use shredded coconut because the quality, the texture is not going to be the same. You want to get down and grate that coconut. To begin, I'm going to first start by preheating my oven to 320 degrees and greasing my pans. I'm using butter. You can use oil or spray as well. Next, I'm going to be sifting my flour and cutting my cherries into quarters. Some of them I'm going to leave whole. For flour mixture, I'm going to first mix my flour with baking powder, salt, okay, so I'm going to mix that in. Next, I'm adding cinnamon and my nutmeg. Set it aside. So I'll be doing my coconut. Now keep in mind that you want to create your coconut and not shred your coconut. So you don't want to go shred any coconut. So you know, it's best to try and grate that. So fruit and coconut carry natural sugars. So you would want to reduce the amount of sugar that you put into your mixture. So after you put together all those fruits in there, you just want to turn this up. Next I'm adding butter. What I did, I cut the butter for it to thaw faster. You want to use soft butter. Now we're going to prepare to add our wet ingredients to our dry ingredients. I'm adding 2 teaspoons of vanilla essence. Next I'm adding 2 cups of milk. Be careful that she doesn't over mix this with bread. So I'm going to be placing this in like bacon pans. adding some mixed peels to the top there followed by my cherries I'm using whole cherries to the top you could also cut the cherries in half and place them to the top it doesn't have to be whole cherries so now I'm going to place this in the oven which I'll bake for 55 minutes now I'm going to prepare to do my glaze now this is the glaze to the top of the sweet bread I'm just using sugar brown sugar and water So it's 55 minutes later and yes, my sweet bread is out now. Now it doesn't look too pretty at this point because it's still white at the top, you know, but um, that glaze gives it that nice brown sticky look. So 
so I'm just placing that all over. No mess a spot. So you see the color is coming in with these, right? I don't know how to spread it out. I'm just gonna sugar it up. So you wanna lightly drizzle this with white sugar and place it back in the oven for about five to ten minutes. And here we have it. We have our sweet bread. So before we cut this, you wanna make sure that it cools down in temperature. If not, it's gonna break. I'm turning it out of my pan and I'd leave it further cool down. After your sweet bread has been cool, you want to cut, you're going to add some cheese to your sweet bread and then you can serve this for breakfast, you can serve it for dinner and have a nice with cheese. Trust me, just remember I said you need to try this, right? I'm Lynn saying thank you for joining me once again on another episode of Lynn's Caribbean Kitchen. As I always say, it's better belly buzz than good food waste. Until next week, see ya!